Welcome to day two, where first spot is almost unfishable. There's so many. It's just choked with weeds. There's something over here that's nipping on me. I just hope. Can't see anything. I just the sinker is getting zoinked one direction. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. And he fell off, of course. So let's see if we can find him. It is a mosquito fish. No surprise. All right, I'm here to this next spot to, to go for some natives. But keep on the repeat. Uh, Taillight shiners and uh, metallic shiners. I was going to fish the bridge, so I didn't bring my net. There's some people over there letting their pit bulls run wild in the water, so I can't fish from the bridge. That's what's that called? Oh, yeah, illegal. Um, so I'm gonna try, I might wade out and get my shoes all wet. Uh, I saw some shiners and I can't find them out, but there they are. But I don't have my net with me. Oh, yeah, that does look like a taillight. So it's gonna be difficult. And let's see. Probably weed. It also looks like weed, because it's, it's a cool looking fish, whatever it is. It's not what kind of looking. Huh, interesting. It looked like a tail light because there's it was a kind of a yellow orange hue to it in the water. So I thought it would be a tail light or a uh, what do you call it? Uh, a long nose. Definitely not a long nose. Oh, this guy's hiding under the... Got it? Oh, that's really cool looking. Probably just coastals. Definitely not uh, tail lights or metallics. Interesting. Over here. A few more over here. Let's see what I can, can't see because of the uh, oh, because of the uh, uh, the ripple on the water. Oh, I just kind of I can see them pulling in behind the sinker, but I can't see them take it. Ah. It looks like they're just all going to be the same. Oh no, wait a minute. Crap sake. It looks like it's got red on its tail, on its paddle insert. So that is a yes on that being a banner fin. It's got the black, yeah, the black first. Uh, I don't know, why is it? It's all so dirty. And these two, gosh, I don't know what they are. That one really looks like it could be a tail light. I think mean, it's electric. It's got a yellow line on its back. It just doesn't quite have the, uh, well, actually they all have the yellow lines. They're probably all the same. Yeah, they'll have that yellow stripe on the top. So if that's a banner fin, which I think it is. Well, they're not weeds. And they don't look like coastals. Very interesting. Oh, there we go. A little more of sunlight. Let's move away from each other a little bit. Mess around. The yellow stripe on his back. The golden, really. Uh, 
I'll intro this spot, I don't know why. Um, conditions look awful. Uh, this is my third spot of the day. All I've got is, my last spot was a complete bust. Really, uh, this is shaping up to be one of my typical late winter, early spring Florida trips. Oh, oh no, there's a, there's a little bite where I get nothing, <laughs> where it's just terrible. That was a nice little, little yank though right there. Um, oh, that stinks, man, to get a... Yeah, well, that's a very familiar feeling to me though, to get a pop as soon as you put the bait down and then never hear back from them again. Dragging this through, and I got a molly. I was no, no, that's a, that's gonna be a sword tail, I think. Well, it could be a molly. I don't know. Get some water up in here. Oh, I should have kept that on. I, I didn't think for a second they bite. Yeah, that's a molly. I don't know what kind it is, but they're not a sail fin. They don't really bite. Let's see if I can get another one. Um, actually, capture a catch. That's really cool. All right. Here's the, I was actually trying to see if I could tempt some uh, pike top minnows into biting. I was just kind of uh, jigging it in a line back and forth. And suddenly, and I couldn't even see, I can see the bottom now. The sun's come out a little bit. But suddenly my line started going the opposite direction oh, oh something's on it oh that's a nice marbled one. Oh man i thought maybe the the flash of the sinker would uh get them uh, this i mean this guy's definitely interested it's falling all around Slowed it down and let him have a shot at it. He didn't want it. Molly's never bite unless you usually have to have a really good look at them and see them take the bait. And you really have to work on them a long time. And that was basically 12 seconds. Uh, hope this newly. Oh, oh, there we go. Peaking sun isn't gonna harm it, but that's another. Oh no, that is a sword tail. Yeah. All right. Very nice female sword tail. Okay. Thought this was gonna be uh, a, another bust, but uh, working. Just gotta change your methods up. Keep on trying. Oh, and sometimes it pays off. Right, there is the molly. Definitely going to have a good fin count or a ray count on that. Female sword tail. Seeing great colors. I just don't, I don't know if I'm seeing it in the camera. All right, that's cool. I'm going to let these guys go before I go after a. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at those. That red stripe of spots on oh that's a male he's just juvie i think yeah i can see his uh uh sword starting to form i think i don't know i'm an idiot i don't know anything but it seems like anal fin and tail fin have the indicative just kind of starting but i don't know it's hard to say This is kind of a new method for, uh, this is a new method for getting a sword tail too. I've never, as far as I can remember, I never got them basically trolling like this. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with micro fishing, particularly micro fishing for these kind of fish, like mollies and uh, 
swordtails that have the tiniest mouths. Even though I'm on the hook basically trolling like I'm doing, that is, that's a tough, tough call. Oh, okay, I'm wasting my film and my battery at this point. Big cichlid looking fish just came and tried to crunch. I, I tried the worm, I tried doing this trolling over here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, he definitely wants it. Come on, man. He might just be a molly. Oh, and I just took it away from him. Oh, my theory, I don't see any pike top minnows, but I, my theory is as soon as I put this mosquito fish in the water, it will show up. Out of nowhere. So far my theory is for total crap. He's undulating a little bit. Let me try the other side here. He's on there. Gotta make sure he took it all. Yep. Alright. And he took came out of nowhere. Alright. <laughs> or she, I she I think. Oh. Yeah, it looks like a she. Oh come on. It's a he, I think. It's a because of the spot tail, maybe? I don't know. All right, glad to see you. All right, yeah, I think we got a male here. have some photo quality. All right. I'm not seeing anything else just to turn this on to comment. I, my theory did actually uh, hold true. Just not in the spot that I thought it would. Because um, that, I was just dragging that mosquito fish out in the middle of, of just open ground. The sun going all the way to the to the ground. I mean, I could see everything. There were no fish anywhere. And I was trying to, I was gonna slowly pull it into uh, the shady dark area on the far side of the uh, ditch here. And then out of nowhere, from the, from my direction, you know, across it just, this lightning submarine just blasted across this wide open space of nothing and just nailed it I forgot that I needed to have my bail closed or open uh, he almost I think I was perilously close to him feeling the resistance and spitting it out but luckily it worked out and he took it down and I couldn't see him he took it into the depths that I was gonna try to fish and uh, I usually like to wait and see that the head of the mosquito fish is in his mouth but all right there's two three marbled now that the sun's out my odds of hooking up oh, although i just got a bang just got a nice hit oh, oh and i wasn't paying attention talking I'm sitting there narrating missing the strikes saying that i probably won't get a bite now that it's sunny and i can see everything is there mating? This might just be like a protective thing if they attack it. Oh, yeah. Oh, woof. There's so much interest in this bait, but there's just not enough. Oh, oh except that. That was a bang and I missed it. Need a smaller bait, I think. Oh, wow. Thought I saw that one. Take it. The line wasn't tight. But the sinker went, I saw the sinker go that way. Ugh. Sure, why wouldn't you hook onto a weed growing sideways out of a stone? Oh, there's a little huddle of them. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's another uh, molly? Yes, all right. We'll call this a day on this one. Nice green on it. Green shade on the side. All right, 
let's get it in the tank. Check out, and then they got my worm. Great. Check out the uh, raise fin position and ID it later. Let's see him in the shade first. Yeah, what the heck? Get the good ray count fin position. That's oh, a nice fatty man. Very nice. All right. There's nothing I can do to catch the sun right, I guess. Oh, no. oh that's a nice shot. If it's picking up. Let's go off. Angle. There. What I said was so intriguing was a complete bust. Nothing. No access. I'm sure it would have been great, but no access, so. Uh, some very cool looking waters, but the foliage was just too overgrown. Couldn't get to it, to any of it. Another, what used to be just an outstanding spot is completely dry now. And I don't know if that's permanent, uh, drought related, seasonal, what. But now this is two times now that I've gone and there's been nothing, no water. These could be guppies. Definitely worth the effort. Let's see what they are. Sure, there's a mosquito fish. Yep, mosquito fish. Okay.